So today, I want to show y'all how I drew Zoro from One Piece. But yo, did y'all check out that live action from One Piece on Netflix? It's actually pretty good. Usually when animes do that, it's actually not good. So to get me in the mood, I went to this little cafe spot at my subway station and I got myself a little hot chocolate just to get in the mood you know what I'm saying but just after that you know I had to get back home choose the image I want to draw and actually start working on that thing so just to make sure like try to draw your reference as much as you can as like accurate as you can to it but then sometimes you could try to do like your own thing and it doesn't has to be perfect you know what I'm saying like look look at my sketch that I did and the line work also it's not as perfect as I want it to be but like it still looks as decent as I want it to and it looks like some type of like little stylized type of art piece you know what I'm saying so this is also something that I kind of struggle with whenever I do some art like I tend to like overthink what I try to do but at the same time there's this little video I saw of like some type of like music artist who said he just like goes with the flow and try to do it like as efficient as he can and not take a long time on it because he just wants to be able to do as much pieces which is like songs but like sometimes i'm just like overthinking matter of fact i want to i just want to show you this little piece of the video just to see just to t tell you like what he was saying you know yeah and i put it in the master's folder and i work on the next one yeah i want more darts to throw to hit a bullseye i want more at bats to hit a home run honestly i think that's how you have to view art you know so don't overthink your drawing too much sometimes even though like you might not have done it the way you wanted to you know what i'm saying you could possibly like work on this one as best as you can and then finish it as best as you can and then just straight up go to the next drawing just so you could learn more and have more experience with your next drawings you know what i'm saying also you shouldn't feel like you need some really like expensive markers because i don't even draw with expensive markers this is like some stuff that i found online who were like about like 20 dollars or something at a supermarket that i found like they might look a little bit expensive right there but like they're not even expensive actually but this is the end of my piece this is how i ended up looking I, i'm really proud of like what i did kind of messed it up because i put some paint by accident but hey subscribe like and tell me what you think in the comments and we out